Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mactronic Questions and I want to have a look at tables in pages today because there are a couple of little problems that I want to deal with. So let's first of all put a table in there and it gives us a table that's three across and four down or three rows of things down with a header row. Anyway, so let's search, just change that first of all so that we've got one row, one body row and we'll only have two columns across. Then we'll take this and we'll make it so that it goes across the whole of the page there. Keep it within the margin area. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this, go into this one here, I'm going to paste something in it. As you can see there we have our first problem that has to be dealt with. This text that's going in there only goes down as far as here and it doesn't flow through to the next page. And that's because you cannot split a single cell that has too much text in it onto another page. So what really we should do is we should take from this section here down from where it says the next step. Okay, so I want to take from this here down and select it and take it out and put it into cell or a row below and I can't select it, it won't let me do it. Now that is really annoying. So what I should be able to do as well is while I'm here for instance at that point there I should be able to do command shift and down arrow and that should select down to the end of the document for me but it doesn't it doesn't work within the table for some reason or other so we have to do a bit of some working around here now first of all what we're going to do is we're going to go to our inspector over here so here's our inspector for the table and we're going to edit rows and columns and tell it to add a row below so it's added a row below but we still haven't got this flowing through to the next one which is what we needed to do so the only way around this i can think of Okay, one way would be to sort of actually a couple of different ways. One way would be to start here, just start deleting going forwards. Now that is going to be painfully, terribly slow if it's a long old piece of text, and that is really, really annoying. Another way to go about doing it would be to take the text out of there and put it into something else. So here we are in right room. And I'm going to paste the text in there with a the command V. We want to select down just as far as where it says Wi-Fi or 3G. So this bit here, so let's take that. We'll go to this, do command A. So we select all of it and then we'll do command V and paste it. And now we've got something that works. <laughs> the, uh, the formatting has kind of messed up a little bit there. But that's something that we can change afterwards. Then what we need to do is then we need to take the next bit of text here. Let's just take down as far as there and we're going to cut that. Go to the one down below and, and paste it. And again, you see it's gone down too far. So again, we'd have to do that thing where we take bit out and put it in. We make a new row below that and put it in again. So that is really annoying, OK? How else could we do this? Well, if you're doing a simple table, then what you could do instead is you could do it with text boxes and have the text flow from one to another. It can be done. It's a little bit annoying to set up. It takes a bit more time, but it's, it's workable. So let's um, do a delete on this here and see how we do that. OK, so let's put a text box in there. There's our text box. This can be our header for the table. OK, so we've got that there. Let's take this, hold down the Option key, move across there. So we're going to make a copy of that as we go. So that we can see what's going on better. Why well, then if we put a stroke on those? Let's put a line around them. There you go, we can see them better now, can't we? Another thing we want to do with these as well is if we select that and select that and have it so that there's no wrapping of text in this here. OK, so that's that's about right now. Let's take those and hold down the Option key again. Drag down this time, made a copy of those. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that down, do the same with this one as well. OK, so this is going to be the body of our table. Let's uh, put some text in there. And what we want is we want a big lot of text not just a small bit of text. So let's take this one. OK, now you can see that it actually goes down too far. It goes all the way down to here. And we can see there's more left there because it's got the plus on it. Look, let's insert a page break. Now what we want to do is copy of that. Let's come to here, press Command V. So we've got a copy of that uh, top one there now. Let's move that across, try and move it across. OK, so it's uh, floating. OK, now I can move it across. 7.3 is what we want there. Let's take all of that text that's in there at the moment and let's click once on there and then just click over there. How about that then? It flows through to the next one. That is kind of cool, isn't it? And so you could do the same with a uh, 
this one here and you can have text coming across there and it'll be just like you had a table but the text flows instead if you do it that way it means that i can make changes in this part here and all the text will just flow down to the next one so for instance say from this bit here i wanted to add extra spaces there and there all the text is just flowing through onto the next one i don't have to manually mess about moving whatever's not fitting in one so that i can move it down and have it fit into the next one now that is quite good i like that and we've got to add another text box in there so let's put a text box in there click on that click on that and then we can move that and put it up there line it up as best we can size it up as best we can as well it should be sort of 7.3 across and there's still more text in there so what we'll do is we'll uh, just take that and stretch it out so how about that then isn't that better than working with tables so there you go that's uh, something that you can do to uh, make your text flow from one page to another and not use tables because tables it doesn't work right it's as simple as that don't forget to subscribe so that you know when the next videos are coming out from mac 20 questions bye bye now